Hello, Dave here again from Creative Guitar Lounge. Um, just wanted to do a little video today, I guess another kind of review of uh, a new purchase which just arrived yesterday all the way from Germany and it is the Harley Benton uh, H35 Plus in, in Sunburst which is a remarkably cheap uh, semi hollow bodied electric guitar, two humbuckers and I just kind of wanted, I'd never had a semi hollow bodied or semi acoustic guitar before. I've played a few and really liked them. I've never really felt kind of the need until recently. And I'm not actually sure quite why. My partner and I found this amazing artist called Puddles the Clown. You check him out, um, Puddles Pity Party. I think he won an American X Factor or something, but he's a, an amazing singer. And he plays a guitar, he plays a Gibson 335 actually, which is obviously the far more expensive Big Brother, or the, the kind of thing that this is based on, and lots of copies are based on. But he dresses like a clown as part of his act, he's just amazing. But anyway, he's got a really nice, just plays, strums along really on a, a big Gibson. And I just thought, right, then now's the time, I'm going to look at them. And I, I've seen these things before, these are Harley Bentons, like I said, and it's a, a German company called Thoman, or Thoman. Who manufacture these and that's one of the reasons why they're so kind of cheap and I just thought as I'm sure a lot of guitarists who've been playing a long time and own Gibsons and Fenders and so on like I do are maybe a little bit snobbish and look at something like this 169 pounds okay that includes VAT and delivery to the UK from Germany yeah so you look at that and you, you've got to be skeptical you go know, that's just going to be excuse my language but a piece of shit so I didn't even enter my mind in the slightest to even consider these when I was looking for this type of guitar. Right, I wasn't going to buy a Gibson because um, they're just, if, if I don't like this, I'm not really losing an awful lot if the semi-acoustic thing isn't for me. No big deal, you know. I'd rather not lose 169 quid, but I can always do something with it, was my thinking. But um, before that, I looked at Epiphones, which are maybe twice, slightly more than twice the price of this. And I was kind of focused on getting one of those. And then I started looking at reviews on YouTube, as you do, and you might have done this yourself. These things get incredible reviews. You know, there's all sorts of guitarists looking at these and playing them and talking about them and analysing every single thing, the pickups, the electrics, the finish, everything about them. And they're coming out with really, really good marks. What people say in general is... Um, they complain about the frets being not particularly well finished. You know, they could do with a little bit of a polish and sometimes the fret ends being a little bit sharp. You hear that about, you know, Mexican Squire strats and telecasters, that kind of thing as well. It's just, you know, lower price things. And they talk about maybe there being some slight defects in the finish. Now, I've got to say, this one arrived, um, like I say, yesterday and I haven't found anything wrong with it in the slightest. The only thing I would say is the scratch plate, which is what people complain about a little bit, is kind of cheap and nasty. But aside from that, um, it was almost even in tune when I got it. The action was slightly high for my taste, so I lowered that slightly yesterday. But apart from that, like all the reviews say, it's a gorgeous sounding guitar. I really like it. Um, I played it for quite a long time yesterday through my little Black Star amp, um, again, which is a new acquisition for me, and it, it's lovely, um, both clean and distorted. At the moment, we're just going through a, a simulator. This is a Boss GT100, and I've just got it on like a, a model of a Fender Twin uh, on a sort of crunch setting. Um, I can just go to clean from there as well. is a lovely sounding guitar. We've got so many options in sound as well, not just clean and distorted obviously, but in the guitar itself we've got these Rockwell pickups which are again I think Thoman's own make, um, but they're actually you get a coil tap on each pickup for this money as well. 
Um, so, you know, you've got um, normal humbucker settings. You've obviously got a, a neck, a bridge, or both in the middle, just like a Les Paul. Um, or you can split both of them. So if I just pull that knob up there, I've got the neck in now a single coil. With a bit of crunch on it. Um, it I did, I noticed with the, the taps, you do get a bit of a, a decrease in volume. So if I listen to the other humbucker, so that's our uh, uh, bridge position. So you get quite a variety, we can uh, split that one as well. <laughs> I just think it's kind of... Um, Middle position. Talking, I mean. Go and you look on YouTube yourself for reviews of these. Um, you'll hear lots of different styles, people playing lots of different styles. And they actually, to me, this works as a guitar for lots of different kind of styles. Obviously, it's lovely for the kind of clean or slightly distorted blues and, and jazzy funk kind of stuff even. But um, even for rock stuff, which is more my line of things, um, more the kind of music that I make, I think it's excellent and it just gives you gives me a whole bunch of new flavours to try in new songs, which is why I'm doing a review of it here because that's what we're kind of all about on the Creative Guitar Lounge. Um, just variety, spice, if you like, different um, flavours that you can add to your sounds. And this has certainly um, gifted me with an awful lot of them for really a ridiculously low amount of money. I will say um, I have noticed that since I bought this, these have gone up in price about £50, so you're now looking at, I checked this morning, it's £219 for one of these, which is still an absolute bargain. Um, I'll agree with a lot of, just to sum up what a lot of people have said, um, this is an amazing guitar for a beginner. I mean, if you were starting and this was your first electric, um, you'd really have won a watch. Fantastic. Um, you'd be playing this a long time before you get bored with it and you need to move on. As a, an experienced or even a professional guitarist, it would be a fantastic just thing to add to your collection. I would quite happily take this out live. Um, don't see any problem with that at all. And as a, as a backup guitar, it would be amazing if it got broken. I would be quite upset, to be honest, but it wouldn't be the end of the world financially. And also, if you wanted to you know, use it as a bass, it's a really solid, nicely made kind of guitar. I mean, you've got edge bindings, quite a nice finish. It's a nicely made piece of work. You could change the pickups. There's nothing wrong with them. You could do better. You could upgrade the pickups. You could possibly upgrade the nut and machine head. Um, these are, are just kind of generic machine heads. Um, so, you know, you can see where, you know, the, the budget price gets arrived at to some extent. But I think a lot of it comes from the fact that these are actually made by Toman. So they're not, they're not, it's not like Epiphone licensed by Gibson. They're not paying a lot of money to Gibson 
to manufacture parts of them or to, to use the name. You know, it's completely their own brand. Um, so, yeah, some of the hardware is, uh, I wouldn't say bargain bin, but it's obviously um, where they've arrived at some economies, if you like. But still, um, suffice to say, I like it. And uh, I don't think if you buy one of these, you'll be in the slightest bit disappointed. Um, I'll give you a link below uh, if you want to have a look at them yourself. And uh, if you like this and find it useful, let me know. Leave me some comments and you know, do like and subscribe if you haven't already. So it's been Dave, Creative Guitar Lounge. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.